we often have a perspective on ourself that other people don't have. I'm E with the Giano system and let's talk about it. So being part of a system of alters, uh, a team, a coterie, as my my friend Mark has said, love that word for this, um, it's easier to see that a person's perspective on themselves isn't necessarily everybody else's perspective on them. And even when it may be true, it doesn't have the same conclusion that they think it does. So J.A., is a trauma holding badass protector and in her words she's prickly like a cactus in jenna's words she doesn't um she's not nice she's not mean she doesn't try to be mean but she also doesn't try to be nice she's decisive and opinionated and just herself and to both her and jenna's surprise People like her. Our friends will ask for her specifically. Uh, we'll ask how she's been doing. We'll ask if they can hang out. And neither Jenna nor J.A. understand this. Jenna, kind of being J.A.'s antithesis, she's indecisive. She actively tries to be nice and accommodating. Um, it's like, well, why? Why? J.A., who sees herself as prickly, also, why? But she's been around these people long enough to know that there's not an ulterior motive, which was her first concern, like, you know, these people want something, but realizing they don't want anything other than her, she's had to realize that being decisive and opinionated um, and direct doesn't mean that she's disqualified from people enjoying those things, that people enjoy her for those traits about herself that she thinks are maybe off-putting, that Jenna definitely thinks are off-putting. And so her perspective on herself, maybe she is prickly, but her conclusion about that perspective, that it is excluding her from relationship, uh, isn't true at all. She's like a favorite to the great surprise of herself and Jenna. So watching all this unfold as neither of these things, I am both accommodating and direct, um, has been fascinating and lovely to see just that you don't have to soften your edges for people to appreciate those things. Sometimes what people want is someone who's a little bit spiky. Um, Jonathan, who is born the brunt of her spikiness, which for her, there's like absolutely no benefit to him because she's not attracted to men in the slightest. And she's not soft and she's not cuddly like she's a touch me not so she's like where where is the benefit for him in the relationship so ja has had to come to the conclusion that he just likes her the things that she thinks are benefits in a relationship are not necessarily the things that he thinks are benefits in a relationship that he can just enjoy her presence for exactly what it is and as people who have had to hide who we are, shape who we are for safety, this has been kind of revelatory. And has to come to the conclusion. 
pardon my cat. If you've been on our channel, you know she's geriatric and doesn't have much time left, so she gets spoiled. Well, come here, kitty. Oh, they're not home. Let me sing you the song of my people. I love you.